I'm going underwater to pretend like I'm a mermaid or a stuck woman more so for the music video Stuck On You. And for some reason, we thought it's a good idea to do it underwater. Yeah. And then... Um, <laughs> I think I'm regretting it a little bit. There's yeah. water up my nose! I feel like I'm the only one here that's cold. And I'm not quite sure why that is. So I wrote this song, Stuck On You, because at the time I felt, um, I felt uncomfortably in love. You know, where you really love that person so you can't really walk away from them, but actually they piss you off. You just can't leave. I don't lie, but you don't lie. It's never a good feeling to be stuck, no matter what it is. Um, and some women go through really heavy situations where they're being abused by their partner and they still are stuck in love with them. And that's a horrible feeling. And that, hence where the drowning thing comes from. You know, it's like you can't breathe in that situation. Hi. I met Gautier through Sarah Silver, who runs Stoned Records. He's a lovely man. I mean, what a creative character. You yeah. know, the, the lip, like... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then they will have something, like, ask you to, to put your hand on top, like... Yeah. Like, come on, listen to me, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He really got where I was coming from with the song. He, he's quite, like, he's really quite emotional and approaches it in a very emotional manner, which I think is really important, um, especially for this piece and for this song. There is a bit of a language barrier, of course. I don't speak French really at all. I can say bonjour and au revoir. <laughs> but he speaks English very, very well. What I did like yeah. is your sign. It's your tattoo. Oh, and my, when you do that, my hand, okay. it's like very indie, it's like... Okay. You see? And Gautier was at the top, speaking and watching the screen, obviously. I mean, he's directing the music video. Um, so I was like, okay, I know he's there, but he's not actually here in the water. And then I could hear the muffled French accent um, giving me direction. And I didn't know whether he was telling them something was going on or telling me get out the water immediately now or you're going to die you've run out of air <laughs> I don't know so at the beginning of day one we kind of started in the middle of the video which was when I first entered the water there was a jump that I had to make which was scary in itself I don't know why I was afraid of jumping in a pool but I was Every time I hit the water, I couldn't stay straight. I kept my, my legs kept coming up and my ass kept going towards the camera. Oh, my feet! I keep my feet straight. The big challenge was how just it's going to react on the water. I was the only person out of all the girls that had a little bit of a freak out. <laughs> they had a mini freak out under there when they didn't let me have the goggles on. Well, didn't, not didn't let me, but when I didn't have the goggles on, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, nope, go back up. I cannot <laughs> see anything. And I started breathing like this. <laughs> <laughs> the end shot. All the girls come in, we're all in it together. You'd think that'd be less scary, um, but actually it kind of made it more embarrassing because they were all so on it. And then in the end, women reborn, you know, are rid of this skin, this dress. And then reborn with white, clear, to the surface. Actually, they come to help um, just to be rid of this love, this past, to reborn and to go in the end to the light uh, on the surface.
never said, uh-uh, you either do it today or tomorrow it's going to rain. It's very, very windy and my makeup is running everywhere. It was shit. Everything went wrong, my hair was all over the place, my makeup was everywhere. It was a bit of a shame. We had a crazy day, it was freezing cold. I'm always cold on the shoot. It's like a constant theme. Oh, it's like a tent now. I like it. And we thought, yeah, but it's going to look beautiful. And it was just too crazy. The wind was too mad. So uh, Gautier flew to England to, to fix it and to make this beautiful shot that we have at the beginning, which I think is kind of calmer and more simple and more thoughtful. The feeling that I was trying to get across is definitely there now. I actually jumped off of a cliff. Okay, I landed on a little bit of a hill there, but man, it was traumatizing. So I'm glad we got the new shot. <laughs> So the two main jobs for this video involve the uh, like colour correction, um, so creating um, a consistent colour grade overall and making sure the colours are nice and vibrant. And the other job was involving um, setting up the environment by taking the original uh, plate uh, footage from you know, the underwater shots and removing some of the background elements that could be in there, so that could be a bit of underwater equipment, a diver, the back wall. Um, so we'd have to take and isolate the um, dancers and then replicate the background and um, an environment which looks like it's under, under the sea. To do the colour correction we had to isolate specific colours using colour selection techniques um, and then we would touch that up with a bit of rotoscope work so we could like just select the colour of the dress and then we could for instance make that colour a lot brighter. Uh, the thing I enjoyed most about um, working on this project was working with unique footage like this. Um, some of the projects that we've worked on, um, we've obviously got footage from a studio shoot or from a green screen, and actually to have some video taken underwater uh, was something completely different. So it was really refreshing to uh, work with that footage and to create from that some beautiful shots. It was an amazing weekend very trying but have a fine front of me uh, a very amazing partner for a weekend she was in she did everything we need to do for the project she was courageous she went over she was expecting to do and she gave me a lot of gift and i thank you is it Here <laughs> That's a wrap, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.